Hello everyone, this is Lorraine from Card Creations and I wanted to share some of the doilies that I've made using Fiona's uh, crochet tutorial. If you know how to crochet even just a little you mu uh, and you want to make some doilies, go and follow her uh, tutorial. It's really easy. Um, so I'm going to show you what yarns I used and what the end result looks like. Now, the regular Worcester yarn that comes in a big bundle. People use this for uh, making scars and things like that. This was actually way too thick <laughs> and this is what the doily looks like. Very, very thick. Let's see. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I only made one because it is too thick. I, I ran out of the yarn that I absolutely loved making these with. So that's just a, a sample. So there's that one. And then the yarn that I used is this. And it's, let me see if I can compare it to the first one. There we go. See how much thinner this one is? And that was the perfect size. That was uh, really easy to work with and it turned out well. So let me show you the piece for that one. And that's this one here. And see, she showed you how to make the little um, scallops on the ends. And that turned out really cute. And then I used this, which is super, super thin. We'll show you compared to the other two. Okay, this is the first one. That's the second one. This is the third one. It's even... I'm trying to compare the diameter of this one. It's just really thin. It's I think it's even thinner than the twine that everybody uses. So And it comes in a bundle like this. So I use that and... I love the way that looks, but it's a lot of work because it's so tiny. And this is what the flower looks like. It actually curls on its own. I didn't even do the scalloped um, edge on that one. See how that has the scalloped edge? This one does. And this one is just the inner portion. So I just, since it started curling, I just kept going around a few rounds and it curled up like that. So, I'm going to show you some of the first ones that I did with the middle size yarn, which was this one. So, first I made a little round one, just uh, did the first few steps, because you made the, made the initial ring, and then another one, and then this outer part. If you continued on, I think she made one more round like this and then she did the scallops so I opted to skip the scallops on mine just to make it round and just added another row uh, of this edge here you'll be able to see what I'm talking about when you watch the video so here's one with the third thin ribbon <coughs> And then these are the round ones I made without the scallop. So, like I said, uh, I stopped at this point before she did the scallops. And I like this look, so I did several of them in the round. And they went pretty quick. So, another one. So these will be great for backings on flowers or, oh, wait a minute, this one, yeah, same thing. So I did several of those, and I would love to make more of these, but they take a little longer, and I guess I could just do it while I'm watching TV or, <sighs> yeah, watching TV. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, I need to get some more of this yarn, the middle size yarn, which was this one, not the one that people make scarves with, but this middle size one here. And like I said, this is the one that comes in a roll like this. So there we go. 
uh, Fiona, thanks a lot for your tutorial. It was a lot of fun and easy to do. Thanks for your instructions. Take care, everyone. I'll put the link down below. Thanks.